All right, Kent, uh, cue us up, man. It is an odd episode, uh, conveniently enough. Uh, so uh, it is your turn. Can it be an awk episode? <laughs> So odd, it's gonna be awk. Yeah, uh, goes, you can't say tonight that make me clasp my wand to my breast. <laughs> <laughs> we need a counter. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> the the wand to breast ratio is amazing on this episode of the Ritual Misery podcast. <laughs> another title. <laughs> Oh, we've been most fun. Uh, okay. okay. <clears throat> I'll be good. <clears throat> On this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, we're going to talk about the streamathon, UFOs, horses. Uh, but the most important thing is that we have Tay Allen to start the year! What life? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 199 for Thursday, the 3rd of January, 2019. This is your two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos and I almost got the intro right. Kent, I almost got it right, dude. Close. You were yeah. close. I stumbled over the part we say every time, but I got the year right, so that's all that matters. Tay, how are you? Oh my god, I'm elated to be here. <laughs> you, you, you might have to bring down the, the, the quality of words a little bit. That was like a $3 word and Ken's a $2 kind of guy. So oh, I love that $1.99 <laughs> life, Ken. Don't let anyone change you ever. <laughs> There's a place for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, so this episode is starting late uh, for those that are listening later because I decided I wanted to... Oh, uh, wait. It wasn't my decision. I just ended up working late and I have 14 more wake-ups, hopefully. So this job is almost over. 14 more shave-ups. I have to shave 14 more oh. times for the Air Force. What? What is the job? Uh, the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Top, top secret. I understand, guys. I no, understand. actually, tonight... So I have a couple of civilians that work for me, uh, and I have to... Oh, my God. There's a system I have to be able to log into. I gave them all the information. It's been over a month, and they haven't put the information into the system. And my boss is telling me I can't take vacation next week to go to D.C. with my wife until the until the feedbacks are in. But I can't do the feedbacks until the system lets me in. And I do a bunch of work in the system. So all of that is wrapped up, and it's not my fault. And I'm really just super pissed. And that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm trying not to get ramped back up. I just went through traffic, yeah. and it relaxed me. That's how messed up my day was. Oh my gosh, honey. Well, do you want me to pass a spell? Uh, if you have a spell handy, by all I means. I have a spell handy. <laughs> so, if you're going to cast a spell correctly, at least for me, I use angel white light magic. You push your thumb into the palm of each of your hands. Will you both do it with me, please? Done did. Oh, okay. Ah, Ken, you got to catch up, dude. Okay, yes, that's I'm okay. There. You know what? Magic for beginners. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so then you have to think about your intention. Amos, with my Reiki healing, I am sensing a lot of built up stress and some frustration and maybe even some, some hurt and sadness as to why you got into this place, maybe why the universe has led you in this direction. I want you to know that the angels are, are by you. They are on your side. I can feel them on my shoulders right now, and they are sending you sweet kisses. So we're going to do a spell for you. All right, Kent, can you metaphorically hold my hand over the interwebs? Can you put your hand up for me? Yep. I'm going to need your magic energy, Kent. <laughs> okay, now just wiggle your fingers a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she so, said. Okay, we're going to do a spell for Amos. Oh, Amos, through all the powers invested in me, and this sounds like we're giving you Mary. <laughs> I did watch a wedding episode of a Netflix movie earlier. Oops. <laughs> through all the powers invested in me. Am I marrying 2019? Is that what's going on? <laughs> in 2019, you are going to marry Kent. No, JK. But if you oh. want to, we always support that. It can happen at South by. Ooh, in the comments, tell me if you want me to marry Kent and Amos at South by. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You're going to marry both of us? Or you're... Yes. 
Oh my god. I was I was gonna start the, the episode off asking you what your relationship status was, so I didn't put my foot in my mouth again, but mm, I guess we know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say, oh I get it. I didn't understand. I was behind on that. <laughs> Oops, I messed that one up. Okay. That's fine, guys. We're Steph- we're getting there. Oh Amos, I pray and send you all the light and light of the universe that all your woes be removed that you are able to shine in 2018 and that all the stresses that you feel inside and the frustration and the anger and the sadness and the hurt that they all dissipate up through the top of your head like magical little twinkle clouds into the ether and the universe amen <laughs> sounds good i'm down <laughs> great <laughs> Uh, MJ Snow in this chat says, uh, Kent, I think you can be done with the creepy hand jiggle now. <laughs> that was my spirit <laughs> fingers. He's been I doing that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm doing it with you, though, Kent, because I loved your commitment to it, and it was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was, that was, that was an interesting moment. Mm. I think it was a unique moment for this, for this show. Good. Uh, well, man. after just getting started... So we had a streamathon this week, Amos. Um, mm-hmm. uh, did you know about it? Um, I had heard something about it. Uh, I'm not not sure exactly what it was. So if you could, um, I'm I'm gonna have you explain it to me in second grader terms. So me and a bunch of my friends got together on the internet and entertained people for 27 hours. What 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 is, what is the internet? So it's a series of pipes <laughs> that sends information to to other people. You, you can tell your kids are far too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, yes. Uh, so the streamathon happened. It was twenty seven hours of goodness on New Year's Eve, and we raised one thousand two hundred forty five dollars for little kids. Yeah, and it was great. That Heck is yeah. amazing. Um, and it kicked my rear into gear because now this following this, this coming year, I'm just rhyming my butt off here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am trying to start a committee so we can actually make this a year long thing and get some people together. Um, I really, really, really want to kick that $5,000 mark. I really want to make that thing that happened for diamond club. And I think it'd be amazing for us. Um, so that's the goal. I'm going to keep that goal. $5,000. Really, really want to hit by K. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> so, so crunch 89 in the chat said she made it. Uh, yeah, she's right on time. Like me. <laughs> I tried to respond. Yay. In all caps, but I am not logged in <laughs> there you go. But for, for the record. <laughs> try to we're all learning how the internet works today. Yeah. <laughs> and uh time today. Uh yeah, yeah, you, you, you oh, oh, oh. Cat tail. <laughs> I just saw your cat. <laughs> uh, so, speaking of the internet, I I found something interesting <laughs> on the internet this week. Yeah. So, the NSA, you guys know what the NSA is, uh, right? the, the uh, Natural Support Agency. National uh, Snapple Pit Association. Uh, yes, the National Snapple Association, um, yeah. also known as the National Security Agency. Uh, they're, uh-huh. they're kind of the same thing. Uh, so they have a website, and they have FOIA releases on there, so Freedom of Information Act releases, mm-hmm. and they've got a, a fucking just treasure trove of unclassified documents on there or i'm sorry declassified documents anything Mm -hmm. from ufo research the uh, uh, kennedy assassination um all sorts of stuff that has been declassified over the years and i went a little bit down the rabbit hole on this thing and started reading about the roswell incident which for those don't know the the supposed 1947 UFO crash that happened near Roswell, New Mexico, and aliens were recovered, and a flying saucer was recovered, and all of this sort of stuff. And Supposedly, I, or, or I, were you there? Allegedly, 
<laughs> I was not there in 1947. I have been to Roswell though. It's about two. It's about a two-hour drive from where I live right now. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry, Kent. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I, I'm not even okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're right. You're not even okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But all of this got me thinking. So I, I I read a lot of information that the government has put out there about the you know the official wor- word of the government or whatever on the Roswell thing. There's a lot of documents out there. Not to mention all of the. Like books that have been written by just like you know normal people researching this. Mm-hmm. I was thinking it would be fun as hell to have a podcast that was all about conspiracy theories. Mm. I can Start introduce you to Rob Dyke. Dyke. What's that? I can introduce you to Rob Dyke. He's that famous YouTuber that does all the conspiracy theory and like Matthew Santoro. So you're saying people on the internet already talk about conspiracy theories? This isn't an original idea? <laughs> oh my God. I am so sorry. The last thing I wanted in the ascension year of 2019 was to burst the bubble of your dreams. <laughs> I really thought I was going to be the first one. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> you want me to cast a spell and get rid of everyone else? <laughs> that would just be... I don't, that, that, I don't think that would be white angel magic. Yeah, though. No. <laughs> it's... It's a good thing we're here for you, Tay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I need to consult you before every spell and magical astrology re- reading and every time I handle my deck. <laughs> well, the last one's obvious. That's that just... Right. Right. Please be here with me to help me with my deck this year. Um, I, I can help you with the deck. Okay. Uh, so, Kent, on, on this, uh, this alien stuff, did you find anything uh, interesting or out of the usual or more than... Uh, Jim said it happened. Yeah, so there, there's actually there's so much info on here that so the uh, base that I was stationed at, the base that I that I live near right now, uh, Holloman Air Force Base, used to be called Holloman or uh, Alamogordo Army Airfield, and in 1947 they used to test balloons. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were they were uh, uh, purported to be weather balloons, but they were actually part of a top secret project that was uh, basically for testing. Uh, it, was, it was like a radar target thing that they would put up in these balloons that would test for uh, like nuclear blasts coming from Russia. Okay. Because this was, you have to remember 1947, this was World War II was ending. <laughs> This was the, you know, we, we had just dropped the first atomic weapon mm-hmm. and Russia was stealing all of our information, all of that sort of, sort of stuff, right? So they started their own nuclear program, et cetera. So anyway, so the, the thing that I found the most interesting about reading these, these uh, UFO, uh, you know, basically the explanation for what everyone thinks is the UFO cover-up – is actually the Air Force releasing previously classified information that has nothing to do with, with alien spaceships. That, okay. that you know of. Right. Well, see, and that's the that's the weird thing because this is this is one of those rabbit holes that can go real deep because if if you want to misdirect from or redirect someone from something that's classified, you say, Oh, well, we can release this classified information and say that it's about this. Thing. Anyway, right. this whole back and forth. Anyway, that's so that's what I found the most interesting about the reports that I read. This has the air of the JFK assassination information that they released at the 50 anniversary or whatever, but they still kept yeah. like 20 percent of it classified. And right. what they did release was so heavily redacted that you couldn't even write a, a John Grisham novel from it. Like it was <laughs> basically they, they released a whole bunch of black marker. Uh, and, and call that hey, well. Here's what we know. No, that's not that's not at all what you know, punks. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those funny things. Well, I mean, what do you think, Kent? I have no official position on the matter. Because ah, <laughs> you know they're listening. Yes. Kent's got <laughs> Kent's got too high of a security clearance to to tell us what he thinks. Because 
They'll yank that shit quick. <laughs> you have a Securite clearance. To oh, my shit. I, uh, that's the clarification on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wave the wand. <laughs> so, Tay, Tay I'm, I'm interested in your opinion on conspiracy theories and government cover ups. All true. All of them. Even the ones that contradict each other. All, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one I read is true. And obviously we do not go to the moon because there can't be wind in the flag. <laughs> so okay. that looks true. And um, yeah, also conspiracy. Can you please use the correct verbiage? Conspirate. Like, come on, guys. All right. So so everyone in the chat, let us know what your favorite conspirate is. And we will <laughs> discuss it. Oh, another one to breast. <laughs> oh my gosh so uh, can i what? really do like your hair i think it is very dapper to the side like that <sighs> yeah i don't know what's going on with it this is well, not what my hair normally looks like welcome to kent's new hairstyle for the next year <laughs> <laughs> this is my 2019 I think it look great <laughs> Amos, oh, you also God. look beautiful. I know you had a hard day at work, and I want to applaud you for everything you do for all of us. So, why did I just say that? I read this article about the compliments you're supposed to give to men, because <laughs> I've been having some trouble in my relationship. <laughs> Kent, yours was real. Amos, yours was from the article. <laughs> How did they do? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, Amos, I... I'll I'll back up Tay here and say that your hair looks lovely tonight. I, I love what you did with it today. <laughs> What's, what, what you mean? What it did to my head? Because I don't have any control <laughs> over it. It's uh, we all know that if I could control my hair, it would have been gone years ago, and I wouldn't have to do anything with it because I just hate having hair. Oh really? Yep. Yeah, you just wanted yeah. it gone. Yeah, it's it's annoying. Um, the only reason I don't <laughs> shave it is because I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> no, I th I thought you did pretty well, Tay. I thought uh, I I was almost convinced. Um, Great. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself Great. until uh, the next Maybe time. Most convinced will save my relationship. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm looking for. Almost convinced. Per perfect. <laughs> The, the the only relationship advice I will ever give anybody uh, is. Uh, read. Don't take Mrs. advice. Yeah, well, uh, there's that. It's not my advice. I'm giving you someone else's advice, and that's the five love ah. languages. That's it. That's the only advice yeah. that I've ever known that had any kind of effect on any relationship I ever had. Okay, let's all say our love languages. And everyone in the chat, yeah, you want to do a quick love language spin around? Oh, sure. Kent, have you read the five love languages? I or, took uh, the test uh, literally five days ago. Again. <laughs> Well, you, you do have to refresh it once in a while because your your yeah. ten, your tendencies do change as far as what you appreciate and what you provide. And Kent is yeah. completely blank on this, absolutely. I, I read, like, the the cliff notes, basically, to the five <laughs> languages. Like, Kent, you did not prepare for this interview with me by reading the love <laughs> languages so that we could compare ours? <sighs> what? Oh, my God. I, mm -hmm. But he did show notes. I, I mean, we got to give him a pass for that, right? <laughs> he did show notes. That, I'm not going to lie, audience. I don't do the show notes. Every time I text Kent 45 minutes before and say, what time am I supposed to be on? What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. my response now. to her was, um, I put it in the show notes. <laughs> and I got no response. And there it is. <laughs> Every time. Kent's ritual misery. <laughs> hey, Kent, what time tonight? <laughs> What are we going to do impromptu style? Gracias. <laughs> then, as always, calling you via Skype. Kent, Amos is just now getting home from work. We're going to start a couple minutes late. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, to Amos. That could be, <laughs> that could be a text that to came any of weird. our guests for the last two years. <laughs> <sighs> it happens. Um, oh, thank you, MJ Snow. Jeez, Kent, there was not even a TED Talk. The least you can do is refresh yourself with the love languages. Uh, true story. <sighs> true story. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I am a uh, physical touch and words of affirmation. Oh, very nice. So when I tell you I appreciate you, you like that. Yeah, it actually means something to me. Yeah. That's good. Well, it means something when I say it. 
There you go. So what not, are you, Tay? Not the book I read. <laughs> I'm just going to a quick disclaimer because I know this will start some good fodder in the chat room. This book that I'm referencing that I read for relationships is by Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> Still a good night, though. I, like, last week stayed up till four in the morning reading Steve Harvey's relationship book for women. <laughs> Uh, I mean, at least it wasn't Kevin Spacey's relationship book. Nice. So true. So true. <laughs> I left Steve Harvey in 2018. We're moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see how this works, Kent? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So should I have not read Louis C.K.'s relationship advice? Uh, no, no. It's he, oh, he, ask me what women want. I'm a woman. I'm here for you. Chat room, throw it at me. I'll give advice. Chat room is awkwardly quiet tonight. Like, there's a bunch of people in there, but they're not saying a whole lot. I wonder if maybe they're just, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Crunchy says what words of affirmation for her. In the chat. Jen Crambar, that's my girl. Crunchy, I love you too. <laughs> yes, but she's new. This is her first time in the chat, guys. Everyone, blow her up. Give her some love. <laughs> Yay! Congrats I on your first time. Her in high school. <laughs> high school, high school is full of firsts. So <laughs> uh, she says she made an account just for this show, and uh, I can't type. I, but someone sent her a heart because I'm not logged in. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> sent you one. A heart. Yes, oh, there we go. Like, yeah. To be my best friend, you have to be able to send yourself a heart. <laughs> All right. So, so Crunchy says she's a words of affirmation. Uh, Tay, what are you? So I used to be total acts of service, words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. And as I've grown as a woman in person, and like you said, like my priorities and values have changed, I'm now quality time and touch. Mm. And that was my last two. Cause I used to be like, I'm so busy. I'm a star. I don't have time for a guy. Like, let's just like be good when we're good. But I, I can't give you my time. And now it's like, I want to like, spiritually and soulfully connect with my lover like i want us coming together to be a creation for the world <laughs> someone's nesting <laughs> that was brilliant one breast that was brilliant i said the weirdest thing and your response was so perfect <laughs> um yeah kent what so if you know anything about the love languages where are you sitting at do you want me to say them all? Do you know them all? Sure. Is is one of them like leave me alone? <laughs> oh my god, Ken, that is not going to work. Wow. For us, that, that's... Okay, here are the five love languages for those in the chat who don't know. Quality time. Mm -hmm. So that's you feel loved and appreciated when your lover spends quality time with you. Got Words it. of affirmation. You feel loved and appreciated when someone tells you that you've done a good job. They give you praise. They're proud of you. They verbally compliment your appearance, etc. Uh, touch is banonkadonk. Um, well, it, it's also it's also holding hands, cuddling, hugs, yes. things like that as well. Mm. Yeah, no, it really is. Or just like that, like energy, that warm chemistry energy you get when you're standing next to someone that you have that thing with and you're just like, oh, that's, that's touch. Um, I, I, I might be that then, one. Huh? I said, I might be that one. Okay. Yes. And then, then there's popular for men to choose touch. There's um, gifts. And then the last two are gifts. Yep. Like you feel loved and appreciated when someone goes out of their way to get you something special or gives you a gift. And acts of service. This yep. used to be a huge one for me. When someone like offers to do something to help you out, like, hey, babe, I know that you're stressed out. Can I pick up coffee for you on the way over? Hey, mm. I know you've got so much going on, but like, let me like grab the groceries or, you know, I'll go through and delete your spam email for you. Whatever it is that gets you on. So those are the five love languages. Delete your spam email. That's a new one on me. That would mean a lot to me. If a man went through and unsubscribed me from shit, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Put it yeah, on a t-shirt. I, th <laughs> I, I, I think, think we missed one. Because we got, we got quality time, acts of service, gifts, words oh, of affirmation. Gir gifts. Okay, That's, I, I forgot the gifts. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to be missed. the which one. I think I'm going to be the touch one, but I, I do like what MJ Snow says in the chat. He 
he suggested I'm a give me another beer and go away kind of guy. <laughs> that would that would technically be quality time. Uh, it could be quality time. It could also be uh, gifts, you right? Beer. Uh, so give me a beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but you're you're not the gifts kind of person, mostly because you're so scroogey yourself that you're like, uh, I, I don't want you wasting money on me. So that that would actually be more of an insult. Yes. That's accurate. Well, I mm, I don't know about insult. Like I appreciate the gesture of it, but yeah, yeah, you're you're not wrong, Amos. That you should probably just keep your money rather than than buy me a gift. Yeah, uh, but I do appreciate the gesture. Well, unless it's a beer, then I will take the beer. <laughs> what do I do to show you love, Kent. Um. Uh, <laughs> the, Mm. One, one, one of the easiest ways to figure it out is how do you show your affection to someone else? Because usually, unless you are actively trying to speak their language, you speak your language to them. And that's right. where a lot of the problems come in is if... Ah, if thank you, M.B. Snow. He said want to breast. Yeah. <laughs> want to breast, that is is a, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Want, want to breast definitely gets Kent going. That's a, that's a touch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a certain kind of touch. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would, I would say Kent is probably, if I had to guess, probably physical touch and quality time. That's, that's probably, that's probably true. That's cause, probably cause I, he, uh, sitting around playing cards or shooting the shit, doing karaoke or watching TV is just as important to him as really anything. As far as he and I's friendship goes, that's, that's kind of Why where we're at. Why not karaoke yet at South by? Because every time we try to find karaoke when we're at South by, it's not going that night because no, of South by. Let's have our South by party at Egos, which is like the best dive bar karaoke amazingness. <laughs> and oh my God, I would love to do drunk karaoke with you guys. That would be amazing. Uh, okay, done. Mark they it have on a the stage. Couch. Yeah. Um, and it's like a big bar. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. Just ma make sure they don't cancel it for South by because that's what happens every year. <laughs> oh, this great bar. Oh, they're not doing it tonight because South by. bar. It's karaoke every night. Nice. Okay. All right. Mark yeah. It's yeah. called egos. And oh my god, 2018 was about shedding the ego. How am I going to make this work? That we're going to a place called egos. Um, it's where we're going to like see our our past selves from yesteryears. Uh, uh, 2018 was about shedding ego, and 2019 is about sharing ego. Oh, I love to share things that I've shed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can, can I show you my love language by giving you some of my hair? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna sell it on eBay though. Oh, yeah. oh only half of it. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, he's you, gonna be there for karaoke. Yeah. You, you gotta uh you, you gotta keep uh keep some for yourself, you know, that commission. Um <laughs> I'll give you oh both God. some of my hair. You can tape it to your head and it will be all the rage for the five D. That's what the five oh D my is. Gosh. That's how you have to look. Wow. Uh, so, you, you should give me some of your hair so I could actually have some. Uh. <laughs> right. All right. So speaking of, of shedding things from 2019, Amos, the 2018 winter movie draft, we should just go ahead and, and, and shed that from, from history. Um, probably. I don't have the, I don't have it up because in the show notes, Click why, 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 why are you, why are you hurting me? <laughs> I make these things easy for you every week. <laughs> so he says, y'all. So he says. Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of December 31st, 2018. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. To all those getting plastic surgery, let me just say, happy new rear. Let's go to the scoreboard! Team Von Squad falls to last place with $281.1 million. Team Movie Party jumps to fifth place with $297.8 million. Team Game Night is in fourth place with $387.3 million. Team Drunk Kids Gaming stays in third place with $426.7 million. Team Retro Misery is in second place with $468.9 million. And in first place for another week, it's Team Have a Drink with $538.9 million. That's your movie draft minute. All totals are accurate as of January second, two thousand nineteen. <sighs> yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not going to win, dude. Uh, have a drink is running away with it. Yeah. <sighs> that's 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 what happens, though. Yeah. 
So that's, I mean, that's that. I mean, they're they're seriously they're up by almost almost a hundred million. Yeah. So it's over. That's it, folks. Yeah. And Drunk Kids Gaming just had a movie come out, and they're only eleven million behind us. So yeah, there might be some issues there as well. We we led this draft for probably ninety percent of it, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna lose it all at the end. Uh, thanks, Peter Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's oh, it's no. it's like a really bad NASCAR race when your favorite driver is leading the entire race, and then two laps before the end, he runs out of gas. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what just happened. Oh man, um, to finish. Uh, what was that? that? Sometimes it's hard to finish. Uh, also an accurate statement. Yeah. That's, <laughs> look, getting old sucks. I, oh, we're talking about the movie draft. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's rough, too. Uh, <laughs> Is that uh, thing that happens yeah. in the later years? Do I need to be preparing myself for that? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, Oh wait, are we are we not talking about the dream? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Uh, look, sometimes things happen, and well, this 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 could get really personal really quickly. Um, don't go there if you don't want to. It it's it's not always the relationship, and it's not always the other person. Let's just say that. Mm-hmm. That's all of us, though. We all have stuff going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crunchy says yes. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right so i've got a game for you guys sweet Ooh. do you have a uh do you have a, a stinger for that amos uh i think i do i think it's this one right here can i please have your attention in the last 30 minutes kids done something now you've got a guess he was very excited kids game play with him play with him I like that voice. Next time you need to call me first and I'll do the voiceover for you. Do you know that many people said that I should be the voice of a phone sex operator? Not a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> if you had to audition, <laughs> you had to audition for that job, though. Uh, give us your best 10 second audition. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what's the line? Well, so that's just it. We can't give you the line. We have to give you a situation, and you got to prove your metal, right? Because you've got to sound sexy no matter what's going on the other side. So let's go with um, uh, a hmm. Let's 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 think of something here. How about this? A woman calls, Mm -hmm. and she's breathing. She's breathing heavily. Uh, oh, yeah. she's clearly got like, um, like a lozenge in her mouth and a stuffy nose. And Ooh, I love that sick vibe. She's, tro- oh. she's having trouble articulating words and they kind of sound just flourish. It's okay, baby. Just spit it all out. Spit it all out right now. <laughs> all right hired <laughs> that was pretty good i'm gonna call tay the next time i get a cold <laughs> <I'm pressed. laughs> oh man <laughs> oh my Are, god yes please everyone call me when you get a cold <laughs> media king 909 says i feel like it just violated something <laughs> <laughs> Not unusual. Um, okay, so can't you have a game for us? It's called Equine Ent- Identity. Equine, yes. Uh, uh, Ec- Equine Identity. Okay. So- okay. I want to play I- your game right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so many clips. So many clips that out. <laughs> All right. So the I- of our generation. Yes. <laughs> So I, I like to to tailor the games that I do on your episodes to to your interests, <laughs> and I know that you like horses. So I made a game about horses. There's actually oh my god, this is the universe synchronicity. There's a horse behind me. Look at that. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Color me oh, oh, not different sets all. <laughs> and bathrooms. I've done this from. You pick the horse thing when there is a horse right behind me. <laughs> all right. Tay, heads or tails? Tails, always. 
come on. I'm not an uh, amateur. Right. Google is flipping the coin. It is, in fact, Tails. <sighs> Good. I don't have to kill Google. <laughs> All right. So you, so you get to go first. Okay. The name of the game is Equine Identity, where you have to identify. <laughs> hey, Kent. <laughs> These are easy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to give a description of a fictional horse, and then you have to tell me the name of the horse I'm describing. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Tay, number one. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous... Mr. Ed! It is, in fact, Mr. Ed. Kent... I also, next to my bed, have this unicorn book with a horse on it. And here is a second unicorn book with a horse <laughs> on it. The age range on these is four to nine. And I'm rereading the series. <sighs> so All right. the most magical right. game we've ever done. <laughs> Amos, your first question. Accompanied by his deputy, Baba Louie, this Old West Sheriff would sometimes assume the identity of the masked vigilante, El Cabong. Any ideas? No. Did you not watch Hanna-Barbera cartoons when you were a kid? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you this. <laughs> That horse is Quick Draw McGraw. Yeah. <laughs> no. Setting up this game, Kent. This is so cute. <laughs> she's just bringing out all the horses. This Look is, at this. Oh, I'm saying like, this is insane. This is insane. Look, a horse. <laughs> so, so Tay is basically pulling a Tom Merritt here. Uh, whatever is talked about on any show that Tom Merritt is on, anything, any subject matter is within an arm's reach of Tom. Horse. Tape dispenser. Tay horse tape dispenser. Tay is literally <laughs> reaching just not even an arm's length away and pulling out all of this horse paraphernalia. <laughs> is that a book? In? <laughs> oh my god, this is so magical! Wow. <laughs> all right, your next, your next question. Okay. All right. This skeptical horse is often dragged into adventures against his will by his best pal, Gumby. Oh, I hated Gumby. Mm. Like, it was my least favorite. Oh. It was creepy you as hell. A, a, a crush on a boy that remember? looks like Gumby. Do I know <laughs> the horse? I don't think I know it, Ken. I'm so sorry. Oh, my lights are going crazy. Whoa, look at this. Look at this show that's happening behind me right now. Gumby's best pal was named Pokey. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I think it was called the Gumby and Pokey show, right? Uh, it was called the Creepy and Weird Show. <laughs> All right, Amos. Oh. I think you're going to know this one. This horse horrifically drowns in his own depression and despair in the swamp of sadness while his beloved rider Atreyu tries in vain to save him. Oh my gosh, was it? Uh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mal uh, Malfoy? Mal uh, Malfoy, I think. Uh, Malfoy. So, uh, so Harry Potter character? No, 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 no. Because I can hear him say it and like, he screams it at him. Um. Well, if we need to check what Malfoy's up to, <laughs> once again with the the meritism, uh, mm -hmm. Tay finds a Harry Potter book within arm's reach. Should I pull all of them down? No, we get the point. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember his name. Okay, do you at least remember the the movie? That oh yeah, no, I can see the scene. I can hear him yelling it. It just it's not forming words in my head. All right, hold on. Let me do this first. Artax! Mm. Yeah, that's the voice I that, heard. That scene fucked me up really bad. Really? Yes. 
That was oh super God. sad and awful. Uh, the end of that movie, uh, the the Empress, she formed my opinion of girls for the next five years. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Um, okay, Tate, your next one. Yeah. What is the name yeah. of the Lone Ranger's great white horse? <laughs> These are like old questions. Um, <laughs> For, okay, for, for the record, Lone these Ranger. are before our time, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. For the record, these are before our time, too. Yes. I mean, some oh, of yes, them are. Yes. No, I know. We're, we're really going back. This is when <laughs> Kent was alive in 1946. Um, okay, I'm going to guess, because, like, why not? Uh, oh, it is a medal. Oh, thank you. Wait, is that a... Is that a hint? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. what, is, what is the Lone Ranger's uh, horse's name? Okay, my guess will be... Sparky. <laughs> Sparky. <gasps> right. Hi-ho, Sparky, away. Is it hi-ho, Sparky? <laughs> it was in fact a hint uh it was just not the right one hi yep. oh silver yep. away um, oh thank you md so that's so sweet i, I should have gotten that you were being real direct there and obvious and i just <laughs> all right amos your next one who is sheriff woody's trusty toy steed from the woody's roundup gang Ooh. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me horse tape dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> and and, and t- come on, Tay, it's it's a horse tape dispenser. Oh my god, I'm not gonna talk the rest of this and you do the rest of this so good. <laughs> so <laughs> just, Tay, just tape her mouth closed with her horse tape dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amos, who is Woody's horse power? Um, oh, shoots. I God, I can't remember. See, the, you're, you're, dude, you, we got to start talking before the games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bullseye. You say it's bullseye. Yep. It is indeed. <laughs> I, I, I just heard, uh, 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 not Tim the Toolman Taylor, uh, 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 Wilson? No, not Wilson. Al? No, not Al. What are you talking about? No, uh, the, 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 uh, Tom Hanks. I just heard Tom Hanks yell at his horse. Bullseye! Yep. Oh. Gotcha. See, MJ Snow knows what's up. I need to start paying attention to him. Think darts. Yeah, that would have been... Mm, that would been great. Right. Okay. So, Tay, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this lord of all horses is Gandalf's chosen mount. <gasps> oh, my God! Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 fuck, I know that. Okay. Mm. Oh, come to me, Gandalf. It's like something epic, like Lorithlior. <laughs> um, that definitely sounds elvish. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Like Barondamir. Uh, oh, any hints, MJ Stone? <laughs> <laughs> from disgrace uh oh man ken i feel like i am just super letting you and all the geeks down uh, i don't i don't i don't know darn it he's so cool though gandalf's chosen mount was shadow fax oh duh, that, uh, yes yes Darn, now I can hear it in my head. Okay. Would not have gotten Darn that it. myself. Not a chance I'd have okay. had that one. All, All right. right. So we're 1-1? One, 1-1. One. One to one. We're 1-1 one, one going into like the 15th inning. This is... <laughs> yeah. The, the These are always goes- our games. Our games are always a little wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amos. 
voiced by Matt Damon in the 2002 animated film, which horse is the stallion of Cimarron? Oh, I know this. Can I steal? Sure. Hold on, hold on. This is for Amos. This is for Amos. <laughs> Tay, if you would like to steal. It is the theme of our night. Spirit. Wow. It is indeed Spirit from the movie Spirit. <laughs> that was funny. Yes. Yeah, so, so Spirit, Spirit, the Stallion of the Cimarron is the, I think that's the full title. Anyway, okay. So Tay, this one goes back to you. I'm so ready. Name the fire horse Pokemon that evolves from Ponyta. Ponyta. Oh, that evolved. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Wait. Oh, I love Pokemon, too. Why are these so hard? Okay. I know this. I know this. No. I know this. I figured you guys would get at least half of these right. <laughs> I know this. I'm picturing her, him. Ponyta. Oh, God. It is a fast horse. A thoroughbred? Um, <laughs> fire thoroughbred. Uh, <laughs> oh, I am going to kill also, myself, no, Kent, when you say this. Oh, <laughs> God. I am so sorry, nerds. My Bulbasaur keychain, I am letting it down right now. Fire ta. Uh, uh, fire ta? Um, Fire Tay. That is my guest. Fire Tay. Thank you. Fire Tay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is it Fire Tay? Ponyta evolves into Rapidash. Rapidash. Yes, yes. Yeah, I almost Not had that. Fire Thoroughbred. Okay. <laughs> Amos, final question is yours. Oh, a chance to win the game. Darn it. Just this? Die. Stole <laughs> spirit from you, you little uh, acer. Look, look, I'm trying to steal the game. <laughs> this well, since female I cheated, you can too. <laughs> <laughs> this female unicorn pony represents the element of magic and carries the title Princess of Friendship. <laughs> Amos's face is classic right now. You just described my soul. <laughs> you also just described like half of the animals in all the shows my daughter watches. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. And definitely this unicorn and Balinor book. Right. I'm going to go with Balinor. <laughs> You're going to say Balinor. Yeah. Sounds good. Looks good on paper. <laughs> Tay, do you know the name of this horse I'm looking for? Well, okay. Are you... Say it again. I got really this... wrapped up in the description and then wanted to be it. One more time. <laughs> this female unicorn pony represents the element of magic and carries the title Princess of Friendship. Yeah, I agree. I feel like this applies to a lot of magical mare unicorns. Um, <laughs> Atlanta, the dream speaker. <laughs> the The answer I was looking for is Twilight <laughs> Spark. Twilight Sparkle? Twilight Sparkle. It's the main character from the, the I think it's currently running series of My Little Pony. Look, look, dude, uh, I'm not a brony and you don't have girls. I don't know where you got this, th these, these questions from. <laughs> well, there's this series of tubes that I found out about. <laughs> oh, I just looked up Twilight Sparkler. Oh, my God. Wait, this is amazing. I bought My Little Pony wrapping paper for the male gifts I came out this year. So, like, for my boyfriend and my dad and then my sister. But her name is Chandler, so it counts. And <laughs> on that wrapping paper was Twilight Sparkle, which is this sassy purple unicorn. And all my family said out of all – it had all the little My Little Ponies. They pointed at that one, and they said it was me. <laughs> so, Kim, this you did pick me. That description is me. I am this purple unicorn from My Little Pony. That's what everyone voted on. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, my.
my gosh. And also, Tay, you won the game. Media King nine oh Media King nine oh nine says uh, Twilight Sparkle isn't that a law firm in Atlanta? <laughs> Very much might be. <laughs> farm name somewhere. Oh jeez! Oh, all right, all right. So uh, Tay, you won the game. You're Twilight Sparkle. I don't get to wear the uh, the the hooves and tail tonight. Um, <laughs> But I do. <laughs> Hit the tail on the Amos. Uh, that's that's like one consonant away from something totally different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he's one of my best friends. And we bought Disney's Villainous, which is a board game that they came out with for adults. I can't highly recommend it. Honestly, the gameplay is like pretty slow, and it takes hours if you have more than two people but it's entertaining enough to where we've played a couple times and he hates it so much that he calls it villainous <laughs> oh my god wow so anytime anyone's trying to diss someone with the word villainous it's just i'm just putting it out there that you can make it anus real easily so there you go 2019 ascension new disses villainous or vi- vi- villain villain villainous villainous yeah villainous yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would need some beers for that to roll off my tongue. <laughs> well, so, I think you can do that. <laughs> so, Tay, one, one of RMP's patrons, who, who is one of our patrons over at patreon.com slash ritual misery, uh, one of our patrons, Flavor Toothpaste, asked on Twitter a few days ago, if Tay Allen were in charge of the singularity, would it be called the singularite? So everyone just on repeat would go, Mass text, mass text, mass text. <laughs> and then there'd be no fighting. There'd be no fear. You'd know what your significant other was going to say. You'd never have to worry about a job interview because you'd know what you were going to say there. First date, no problem. Wow. So I'm, I'm picturing like like in the movie Lawnmower Man, at the end of the movie, it was more or less the singularity, right? And then everyone's phone in the world rang. And it was like them like, basically like getting online with the singularity sort of was what it was representing. Well, I'm picturing everyone's phone ringing all at once and it just says mass text, mass text, mass text. I like that. Um, it doesn't make sense, which is very on brand with me and that music (laughs) video. It's good that the phone rings to say mass text. That's a very important component yeah, of that. It's, it's, I approve. It's not a text message. You, you actually get a phone call that yeah. just has someone going, well, mass text, you get mass text. a phone text. call about well, a text that the, you didn't actually receive. Right. Perfect. Right. Which is also the theme of the song, Mass Text. I'm not sure if you've seen the video, Tay. <laughs> um, who coined this iconic dance move, which is answering a phone, sir? <laughs> In a song about texting. <laughs> I'll never forget there. Are, oh, actually, I can pull it up. If you look at my YouTube channel, The Making of Tay, I think I short or maybe maybe it's Mass Text Dance Rehearsal. I have this one rehearsal where I'm in this really cute little crop top outfit with these booty shorts. Like, it's great. Um, but it shows the dance rehearsal for that. And oh my God, I had this guy named Sam Allen Swag, who is like super like awesome gangster hip hop choreographer, like just this guy who just like oozes like sexiness and swagger. And oh my God, like I just remember us like in our apartments in LA coming up with this dance and being like, that's the shit. And I'm like, that's so amazing. We were so into it. None of us ever realized that it didn't make sense that we were going like this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like a team of uber professional LA dancers. None of us had a clue. <laughs> that's that's very on brand. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, Mr. Crad, baby. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's got some gangster cred. And, and Beam says uh, Tater Tots 2020. Uh, is that uh, so? So let's let's explore that a little bit here. Um, Ready. Tay, if you for okay, first of all, who would your running mate be if you were to run in twenty twenty? Mm. Anyone in the world? The, uh, uh, obviously not uh, uh, previous past presidents, uh, because of, you know the whole this turtle. That turtle. Okay. All right. So Tay and Turtle. It's the Tay Turtle yes. ticket. 
The Tay the Turtle, Turtle Ticket. ticket. Well, look at TTT. It has alliteration, yeah. guys. I can make that trend. The, that has already a lot more than all my other stuff has had going for it. Tay Turtle <laughs> Ticket in 2020. I mean, you got something going on there. That's like five I T's in a row. Perfect. That sound, that, and that no sounds one's like even it. said to Tay yet. It's amazing. <laughs> that sounds like your next single. <laughs> <It's a day. laughs> okay so uh all right um what platform would you run on um only twitch <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> that's where my votes are coming from <laughs> that is the most awk answer of all and, time and 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 what what is the one thing that your opponents could say about you that may that would make you drop from the race Everything has already been said. <laughs> There's nothing. That's why we're going to win, guys. It's already out there. <laughs> Mbeam says platform more like five inch heels. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and I'll be 60, though. I will be tall in heels. <laughs> it's not untrue. Yeah, competition. Okay, guys, so um, are, are you going to be my social media managers and run my Twitch platform? <laughs> uh, Kent would. I would be in charge of uh, uh, producing your videos. Uh, Audio Kent, vision. Kent, Kent would make sure that they were blasted out to all the platforms. Oh, yes. my God, guys, we've got it. Should I'll, we just I'll do it? I'll be your social media manager. Yes. Yeah. I accept. There we go. Yep. Oh, yay. Um, so I think that we should lead – with all the negative things that have come out, just you know, so that there's like a lot of like, ooh, who is this? Ooh, like, like, let's like leave a... with nip slip, um, long YouTube rants, like pull the worst comments. Let's see, what else? I mean, all the embarrassing photos over the years for sure. I, th I think there was a story about you peeing in the woods or something like that. Yes. Oh, I is peed it, outside that, recently. That <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that was just last week. <laughs> yeah, I really did. <laughs> My family um, has okay. a ranch, so when I'm here, it's like, oh, okay. Hey, Bale, let's go. How about a series of mini exposés uh, tackling each of these in in sequence, like in, in chronological order. Like we'll go to the, the earliest time that you can remember being embarrassed about something and take that and just blow it to the extreme. Like say that's the nip slip. Instead of worrying about that, now we show you actually walking down the street topless like I am for freeing women. This is not something I should be embarrassed about. You should be embarrassed because you're wearing a shirt. Yes, but maybe just half areolas to be on brand. Oh, oh, or 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 it could be from the back. Like you're talking and you're just walking along, but it's only showing yes, you from the back. I don't have a back nipple. But yes. I know that rumor is going around, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking like it could be like a. Uh, like you're walking along, like maybe just say Austin, I don't know what the rules are there, but say you're walking along like downtown Austin, topless, but the camera is from behind you, like over the shoulder, and you're just like talking back at it as you're talking about how you sh no one, you women shouldn't be ashamed of being able to show their breasts. Oh, and as I turn, you just see the tip of the nipple. Yeah, yeah, it's just like it hits a corner of the screen. It just barely almost cropped out, but not quite. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, and then, and then it just focuses on your face, and then, then you're like, I'm Tay Allen, and I approve this message. I'm Tay Allen, and I approve this message. Like, that's our first ad right there. Done. We're, we're good done. to go. It's done. <gasps> okay. Y'all, I can see this chat. doing very well online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> MB in the chat wants oh, to know. Oh, Mbeam if said Team Tay. Ultimate Wanda Breast. Thank you, Mbeam. Oh, my God. That's so funny. If a Tay piece in the woods does it stream awkwardly. <laughs> Well, does it? I, I think it has to, doesn't it? <laughs> Too much tales of my dream. But sometimes it does like go in, you know, unusual directions, I'll say. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Um it so streams awkwardly. Got it. Yeah. You, you remember that the scene in uh in uh not was it, was it liar liar um where um uh shit. The goddamn pin is blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, 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 no, me, myself, and I, I me, miss, me, myself, and I, 
where uh, uh, Irene. yeah, me and myself and Irene, they, where he's in the bathroom and he's peeing and it's just going everywhere, and he's like, "Why am I peeing like I just had sex?" And because his alternate personality had had, had sex with her the night before. Yeah, that shit like it doesn't even take sex. Sometimes you just go to stand up at the at the urinal and you go to pee and it's like shooting off to the side. And you're like, did I miss something? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it does the pee happen weird after sex? That's so interesting. I didn't know that. If you don't pee right after, uh, you get some little crusties and it can deflect the stream <laughs> to different directions. Like wow. you, you gotta practice I've hygiene, never folks. Sniffing it under pee after sex. You, so uh, it, yeah, well it's not. It, it's not right after because then everything's still still moist. Uh, it's like uh-huh. it's like you finish and then you roll over, you fall asleep, you get up the next morning, and then you go and you didn't clean yourself off afterwards. You don't know where it's gonna go. You, it, it's almost like a mandatory sit down because it could go fucking anywhere. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Okay, we're getting personal and real tonight on the Ritual Misery Podcast with Tay I Allen. It. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Basically, what this whole show amounts to is uh, Amos has problems with sex. That's what's that's what's going down to. <laughs> that, that has been a recurring theme. So. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, Always clear your crusties. Oh god. You know, it hasn't been a recurring theme in my life lately. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to stay. <laughs> oh, raise your hand if you know what he's saying. <laughs> 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 I would, but both both my hands are busy right now. Um, <laughs> when, I'm very disappointed that yours aren't. I expected more from our first show of 2019, honestly. Uh, wow. Well, yeah. That's, Kent, well, Kent's a switch hitter though. He can he can uh, switch hands and and pick up a stroke. So. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> As, as she switches hands with her wand. Yes. <laughs> it's a magical experience, let me tell you. <laughs> oh man. Um hey, what else do we have uh what else, what else do we have for the people before we uh we get out of here and uh and uh, derive them uh from more tay? Oh, we need something I, good. We need something good because it's the first show. I don't uh, have it, but I'm just oh, saying. No, no, I got I got it. I got it. I got it. And and just because uh you started off the pre-show I think with some expectations of 2019, I would like to know from each of you what your uh, biggest single plan is and what 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 uh, what month do you think is going to happen? Oh, like okay. as you as you look at 2019, you look at the things that could happen this next year, what month do you think it'll happen in and what do you think it'll be? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and start, I guess, because it's this is a boring answer. Uh, but I, th- I think I'm gonna go solar this year, and I think it's probably gonna happen in like April May time frame. April May, you're gonna get some solar panels on the roof. Yes. That oh is my god, my that prediction. is amazing, Ken. I didn't know that you like the environment. Oh no no no! It's purely for money. <laughs> yeah, it's it's totally a financial decision. Uh, I'm the environmental I, one here. <laughs> <laughs> the Earth can totally. Well, I was surprised. Just okay. Kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm kidding. A I, little I, bit I, more I like... for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I do like the idea of being green, but I wouldn't do it if there wasn't uh, if it didn't financially make sense as well because it's expensive as hell to yeah solar and, and that's one of the things up here in alaska is you think going solar would be solar would be great because all summer long you have all the sun and then you yeah. just have to buy electricity in the winter time but what they've done is they've made it to where the financial incentives such as selling back your electricity to the electric company are yeah. null and void in the state so you can't sell back which takes away a lot of the profits that you could use to counteract the price of actually installing the solar panels Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it's it's a uh, it's a fight against big solar. It's another conspiracy, but that's for another podcast because it pisses me off. It's for my next podcast. Light and energy conservation. When I literally have a blanket of lights sparkling behind me. But they're they're <laughs> they're, they're LEDs though, right? So you're at least uh, uh, responsible yes. with your uh, irresponsibility. Yes, they were dollar stores, so I don't think they'll last too long either. So I'll recycle them, but I won't use too much energy with them, I don't think. <laughs> totally halogen running off a of carbon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
or, like, I'm just or, looking at the things I have in an arm's reach from me, and like here is a giant shell. All of the horse stuff that we've discussed. Here is a microphone. There's just so much. That turtle. I mean, we've got a lot going on. So where <laughs> are you right now? Are you at your parents' ranch in like in some? <laughs> Of, of I'm in a mystical realm, guys. Of course, Tay would have batteries handy. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's fire. It'd have been wow. so awkward if it hadn't hadn't lit. If it just came out done. That would have been great. I wish it was now. All right, Tay. Oh so- my God! Here is a graphing calculator from like 1997. <laughs> wow. That's I am in a cabin in the woods. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can tell it's where you make all your demonic plans, right? There's a huge box of tissues. <laughs> um, I, um, mm. So, so what what do you think is going to be the biggest event happening to you this year, and what month do you think it'll happen in? Oh my gosh! So, biggest event is so hard to know because I really have gone into this year just so open and mystical and magical, but. I am releasing my opera music video this year, and I'm really excited to see what you guys think of that. And more than that, like, I just really wanted to create something really mystical and beautiful and just, like, inspiring and cool, something someone could watch and be like, I believe again. And I think the storyline and the concept we have, like, I've been sharing little photos here and there, are just so magical. Um... I can tell you guys a little bit about it if you want. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this is the song that we like. I played the little clip from last time I was on. So it's been really slow and steady and organic, but we're renting a castle, like a legit castle for it. We have one of the most beautiful, like outdoor gardens, like me- medieval gardens. We have like full, like costume i mean this thing is really beautiful so i'm really excited to share it and i don't know maybe we want to do like march like a south by thing oh that would be fantastic we well we are about that time where we need to start planning for the rmp uh meetup thing yeah on Dirty Six, should I sing an opera ballad? <laughs> Is that what you're saying needs to happen? That this self uh, through the rafters. Ah. Uh, M-Beam almost got it right. He said Phantom of the Tay Opera. And I'm going to say Fante of the Opera. Yes, Fante like of the better. Opera. <laughs> oh, M-Beam, I love you. I miss you when you're not in my life. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm just glad he made the show because uh, again he's going through some shit right now. So anytime he can show up, man, we really appreciate it. Oh so, yeah, thank I, you so much, I mean, That's awesome. So I think I'm gonna take this uh, slight opportunity that I have to announce what we have coming up in the near future. Okay. So we can wrap this show up and go right into the post show where we're gonna continue to have all kinds of crazy t- fun. Uh, Weird. So- so next week on the Ritual Misery podcast, we are actually going to have another episode of Squid's Mixtape. Or whatever Squid decides to do with the week because we won't be here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but the week after that, the week after that is episode 200 of the Ritual Misery podcast. Yep. It's going to be a big deal and everyone should tune in. Oh, Tay, you just saw what I saw. Tay of the Opera! Oh, oh my god. We've just inspired an album, haven't we? <laughs> Fan Tay of the Opera. Fan Tay of the Opera. Oh That's god, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Ultimate One Breast. Oh! <laughs> thank you, I love it. Oh. Uh, wow. Amazing. They'd like to know in the chat room, have you uh, sung Say Con Me yet? Oh, so that is the opera song. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for asking. So we've recorded it, and it's in editing currently. Um, I could play y'all a little snippet of it if you're interested in that at some point. Um, Yeah. Yeah, so it's in editing right now, and then we're filming. So all the, like, mystical pictures you've been seeing where there's light going through my hands and I'm in dresses. Oh, just like now, like right behind me. Ah, 
that's a preview. <laughs> if you're only listening to this show, what is wrong with you? Get on the video version on the YouTubes or download the video version of this podcast and watch any episode where Tay's on. You have to watch it. That's just, that's like mandatory fun. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. I've never even thought that this is only someone hearing it. Oh Lord. Nothing I do makes any sense. <laughs> That's half the fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, What was she telling Ken to do with his fingers? <laughs> one, more time. one more time before we go off there. Give me a little. <laughs> Spirit fingers, spirit fingers. Oh Jesus! Okay, so, so I, I just real quick, I just put a link in the chat. Hello, four twenty dot com slash rmp two hundred. It's a very short survey of our audience to tell us what you have liked about the last four plus years of Ritual Misery. One of the questions oh. on there, I will say, is who is your favorite guest ever on uh, RMP? And one of the front runners right now is Tay Allen. See, the, oh, oh the, this is one of those things. I am intentionally not looking at the results of these surveys or anything else because I want to be surprised uh, next weekend when he and I start assembling, like getting everything together. I don't want to know before I have to know uh, because I can't keep a secret when it comes to some stuff I'm excited about. <laughs> Guys, that is so sweet. That is so meaningful to me. You know how much I love being on this. I think of all of you, like everyone in the chat, and of course, Ken Amos as such good friends at this point, and it is always a highlight for me, and it just warms my heart that y'all feel the same way. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for continuing to come on this show. <laughs> Your shows are amazing. <laughs> Uh, oh, if, good. So, I can't let anything out of the bag yet, but I have some super exciting stuff coming up, and it will, like, make these episodes really lit. Like, <laughs> I may be in the public eye again very soon in a big way, boom, and boom, it'll be boom. fun for us to talk about. <laughs> and if the public, if the audience wants to follow your exploits and get maybe uh, uh, an early uh, notification of those things, where might they go on the Internet to get that? Yes, I love Snapchat. If you are a snapper, please friend me and then I will respond and we can talk and be awkward together. That's Snapchat, Tay Allen, T-A-Y-A-L-L-Y-N. I snap more than anything because it's the easiest. You can ask these guys so bad at social media. Um, next is uh, friend me on Facebook. My personal Facebook is facebook.com slash Taylor dot Allen, A-L-L-Y-N. Be my personal Facebook friend. I'm down. If you're watching this, you're awesome and worthy. Um, but then, yes, my Tay Allen Pop Girl Facebook page. And then Twitter. Everyone knows I'm the worst tweeter of all time. But if you talk to me on there, I'll see it and respond to you, especially if you DM me. <laughs> there you go. It may take a couple days. Um, the Tay DM. Be before, before we cut out of here, uh, MB wants to know if your leg healed. How's your leg doing? Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Y'all want to see the scar update? Oh, uh, Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> you made it. Well, and then also, everyone check out my YouTube channel, uh, Vite Allen. Okay. I'm wearing a slipper, so don't judge if you see it. Okay. All right. Can you see it? Yeah, it looks like a, it's actually a pretty impressive scar you got going on there. Really Do is. you like it as straight males? Is it attractive to you? <laughs> I mean, it's not unattractive. Because <laughs> you stare at my scar. <laughs> it, it's not the, the oozing chasm that it was last time. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome. It was well, yeah, like, it, 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 it kind of <laughs> was like a, a medical drama last time you were on. <laughs> I mean, didn't it just happen that day? And I was like, hey, guys, yeah. here's, yep. here's my wound. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yes, we can work with that. Straight males. Oh awesome. <laughs> Guys, that's all I'm looking for. Like I'm just looking for someone who's like, I can work with what she's got going on. I'm like, that's all I need. That's all I need. What, what is it, Ken? The old thing about EPRs give me something to work with, not something to work on. Yeah, ex oh. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that apply to so many things. Um if anyone's interested in what I've got going on, head over to Twitter. Well, yeah, and beam just said <laughs> What is this? Hold on. Kent and Amos straight? They're as crooked as... What is it? As, as a, a pea stream. stream. In the, oh. <laughs> in the woods after sex. Okay. You, you, you got to read it right for the people that can't see it in chat, dude. It says, uh, 
Can't name a straight. They're as crooked as a pea stream in the woods after sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. I don't know if that speaks to our character or our humor, but either way, I think I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, Kent, what about you, man? Uh, RM underscore Del Noche on the Twitter and Del Noche 77 everywhere else? Or just plain old Del Noche. Uh, check me out. Let me guess. You're Ethan Kane in all the places? E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. And where would people find our show? Uh, all right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's at... <laughs> At R I T U A L M I C O Y. So On there you go. <laughs> you, you guys, if you want, I want to do some like sassy thing like the Ritual Mystery Podcast or something like that. Like, you know, that you can like add on, like, watch it now. I don't know, just something like that. <laughs> Think about it. Okay. I'll do it for you if you want. I've actually, I've actually got some ideas and I, I will. I bet you do. No, we we'll, we'll talk about them in the we'll talk about them in the post show. Actually, um, I I do have some ideas though. Okay, um, yeah, you can find the show at Ritual Misery R I T U A L M I M I S E R Y. I can't word tonight. Stop looking at me it's funny awful. like that. Um, and uh, we are live every Thursday ish night ish at seven p.m. ish <laughs> Pacific ish. Uh, on twitch.com slash ritual misery and thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music which uh, is my cue to cue the music and uh, thank you for listening for Kent, for oh, me, God. for Tay and for you this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast See ya! <laughs> Love you! Way early <laughs>